blood. Red for blood. Where's Relicia? Who goes there? A friend. Puppets, photo stories, animation, dance. In this program, pupils turn Shakespeare into their very own 60 second films. A new take on the bar. The BBC have set schools a challenge to choose a play from Shakespeare's extraordinary canon and produce a one minute version, with winning entries being posted on the web. Beth Lyle, Head of English at Sir Henry Cooper School in Hull, has just got going on Macbeth. What we're aiming to do is to produce a short photo story which explores the text. She's set aside a full day for this project in the run-up to the end of term. This group of boys are storyboarding Macbeth's soliloquy from Act 2, Scene 1. Starting with, is this a dagger I see before me? This particular group of students are functioning at the level four or five borderline and these are the ones that we've really got to switch on and really motivate. And I do not want to spend all of year nine saying we're preparing for the SATs, we're going to train you past your SATs. It, it kind of sucks the lifeblood out of exploring text and enjoying English. Oh, the hands were blood on. Now there's one in, now there's one in the air. And it needs to be blood dripping off the one in the air. Mm -hmm. Many of the children have got this visual style of learning. They can very quickly access those images and they can see their ideas in an image and they can whack those down onto paper quite quickly and maybe that's their preferred learning style. Right, talk me through so far, let's so see where we're up that's to. That's the part Moon where stars, Moon and Stars represent, represent the part. Okay, so the that night. is that going to have any any um, sound? Yeah, that's yeah, the owl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're going to have an owl. Ooh. Lovely, so a bit of atmosphere. Are you going to have any any text written on the, on the frame or is it going to be voice or is it just going to be visual? Do text on the frame. OK, then you're showing a variety of techniques, aren't you? I do like teaching them. And I want to just build on their self-confidence more than anything else. Build that self-confidence, get them to enjoy their work and get them to, to really just realise that they're, they're great kids and they can do really well. And the Shakespeare play we've chosen is Macbeth. Also trying to build confidence and tap into different styles of learning is Sue Hurd. She's a class teacher at Twin Dyke Special School, also in Hull, and is approaching Macbeth through dance. I wanted to see if I could do this 60 second Shakespeare and prove that within a special school we, we can do this. She's asked Chris Holmes, a specialist in dance, to help her start this project during a lunchtime club. I am actually a PE specialist at Tween Dykes and felt that through movement they would get a feel of the story. To actually be in that position of being a witch and we'll be able to get the special needs books that we, we've got into school on Macbeth and start to read it very we simply, tell the story Handy. simply in the literacy hour. Yes. Fantastic. OK, and hands by our side and we raise our capes up right above our head. Learning a set sequence of movements is difficult for Sue's pupils, but she's excited by the way they've responded, and the speed. In one half hour session, they've got it. And out, and hide behind our kits. We'll do another week of practicing, and then we'll move it onto a stage, and we'll develop a backdrop and we'll start taking photographs and showing them the photographs and start picking the ones that they want to go on the storyboard. That's when everybody is running around the room. Lots of energy, nice big arm movements. We're trying to scare the audience, the people watching us. have got to be really scared. Right, are we ready? We're going to have a, a frantic 10 minutes while we assemble some cloaks, crown, goblet, and one I prepared earlier, some fake blood, and we've got some daggers. We'll just improvise and use just found objects from around the school. We have a crown. 
colour it. I like the kind of hazy effect. Now the next one. Let's have a bit of order. Ooh, it's really itchy. creative activity over there, which is fabulous. On the other side of Hull, Stacey Holland is working with finger puppets and children. She's working with a small group in an after-school club at Archbishop Thurston School. They're producing and filming a puppet show. So remember whoever's reading Macbeth's part, which is you, isn't yeah. it, Kyle? Um, you're going to have to put all that into your voice. Oh, you're yeah, all right, Kai, you're all right. <laughs> oh, no. All right. Oh, some of you. Ask me, am I bothered? Am I the, uh, no? I decided to use some new English and common phrases and chav language. We felt it was important to use some of the Shakespearean language because when this is put back to the pupils in the classroom, we wanted them to be able to relate it to Macbeth and not just simply as a puppet exercise t telling a story. The main benefit is preparation for the SATS exam. As in many schools, Macbeth is an area that um, a lot of pupils struggle with, getting used to the language. Right, set it up for me then, girls and boys. Yeah, we don't need that, but we don't need that. That's not right, in it? OK, yeah. I think. Yeah, that's it. That's done. To have this colourful, bright um, puppet show in their minds as they continue to study will serve them really well. I can't believe how strong I am. Confident and brave. I am. I'm invincible. Ha! Ha! They're actually teaching core elements of the play that their pupils have to know that you can use then again in the classroom. So look at your stage directions. If, if it's, how is it feeling here? If it's going to be jumpy, how are you going to make the puppet look as though he's scared? Who's there? What ho? Oh no, we've been found out! Obviously the pupils that are actually involved in producing a 60 second Shakespeare, it's useful to them. But as a teacher, it's useful because we can then put it into the classroom and give the other pupils a visual image of what they're going to be asked to write about in the exam. Oh no, my vision is going! <laughs> it's just point and then click. That was it, that's smashing. Stage right. So you're gonna be over the bowl? No, that's a bad. Hey! We need the blood. We need the blood. Turn up, picture, Peter. I loved seeing the boys dressing up and being absolutely unafraid to get out there and just show what they could do. An animated version of the banquet scene is being tackled by some adventurous pupils at Cannons High School, a technology college in North London. They're already familiar with the text and the English department have now handed over to Ian Henderson, head of performing arts and an expert on animation software. What I did was to say, well, if Shakespeare was alive, and he was working for Walt Disney, how would he do it? We looked at um, the play and looked at a couple of movies and just looked at what everyone else's basic idea was of Macbeth was. And then we um, you know, drew some sketches and just worked around and tried to find an image to put onto the computer. We are coming to the time where people are wanting media content People want to be entertained. These students are learning very important skills in creating content, which is very, very satisfying for them creatively and has, I think, huge potential vocationally. Go to the red and follow that. What are you doing? Are you mad? Snap out of it. Make it really extreme, James, just so we have an example of it. OK. Really extreme. Ian's more than happy with the results of this joint venture. It's always a wonderful surprise to see what students can come up with and that they often rise far above your expectations in their abilities. Greetings, sir. Say, how does good Banquo? Oh, I'm sure he's fine. 
Say goodbye, you maggot. He's dead, me lord. Well organized, your storyboard set up there, and you know exactly what you need. That one. That is so perfect. Oh, no. Yeah. Oh, it's not the bottom arrow, go on, Mum. Really good. I'm in for hours. Look at me. You're the truth. Look at you three. What about that one? Scary thing for that. Oh, wash out. No, negative. Hey, that's it, isn't it? Negative. Yeah, that was good. Yeah, that, you've done some interesting transitions from frame to frame, haven't you? That's a good effect. Look at that, it's very effective. <laughs> it was like they'd discovered a new box of toys. Let's stick in a fancy transition. Let's have a different effect on every frame. And that's great because they were exploring the text and they were also exploring the technology. Move it that way, There's a bit of pain on Move the camera. It. Yeah. That's enough, because he was the one who took the moment my arm, yeah. What's happening now? Voice Who over. goes there? Voice so over. that's a voiceover, so we can move on to the next one. Whoa, that's <laughs> impressive. I like that. I do think they have quite a good visual vocabulary that we often leave untapped, because we want them to be wordy too much of the time and to kind of express themselves through visual images, I think, releases something in a lot of them. But as well as the images, they seem to be enjoying creating the sound effects too. It was bit of a... <laughs> Miss Lyle's attempted an owl. <laughs> Who goes there? A friend. Miss does that one. Right. Oh, yeah, the cackling. <laughs> <isn't it>? <laughs> <laughs> I really like the fact that the kids were prepared to, to be inventive and improvise. I think it was fantastically valuable because Everybody had a crack, everybody was involved. It's an enjoyable activity, and yet it's just so fruitful. And they were all able to review the fruits of their labour together at the end of the day. First, the boys' photo story. Take my sword. Who goes there? A friend. <laughs> and finally, the girls' version. I have done the deed. Why? Why did you bring the daggers from the place? I'll, I'll go no more, and I'm afraid to think what I have done. <laughs> Will great Neptune's ocean wash my blood? And now enters Lady Macbeth. <laughs> my hands are of your colour, but I shame to wear a heart so white. Look, the colour of your hands are the same as mine. <laughs> 